Frequently, people want to be able to fill out a form, and the form, let's say this response here, is so long, they want to chunk it into certain sections and have a button that says continue, continue, continue. Now, if I'm a, an administrator, I might not mind having and wanting to see all the different sections that a survey might have, but if I want to lead people through, I want to make sure they do all the um, pieces that are required. Plus, I might have some complex form rules that that uh, require me to do separate um, forms because maybe the number of derived fields is over 20. And in any particular section, you want that flexibility for whatever the reason. Let's take a look at what it's like to be a person filling it out. And I'm going to call that person as a participant. So look at this. There are no tabs here. Uh, if we say this is AAA, uh, BBB, this is the new company here, we'll say save. And you notice it says press and continue. So we'll say press and continue. And now we can fill out the rest of the information. And I'm not going to fill out all the detail, but you kind of got the idea that each time I'm doing this, I'm coming into a, a section and I press to continue. So, and then I can say QuickBase, Salesforce, SharePoint, whatever the selections are, continue. And I say, wow. And now I'm going to say finish and review and watch what happens at the top. It flips and shows. Now it's recorded the session already, uh, but it's taking us to a different uh, view here. So how is all that uh, put together? Well, if you um, let's end this as a participant and go back to exposing the settings as an administrator, and we'll take a look at settings. You'll see I've got a whole bunch of different forms down here, and each one has a separate opportunity to have form rules associated with it. Now, this is the full form, and then you this is where I start, and then I go to profile, and then the developer feedback and suggestions. So each one of these, if I'll click into uh, uh, let's say profile. Um, you'll see at the, uh, that this is a DFID or what we call a DFID to describe the form and up in the URL you'll see that it says in DFID equals 21 or something like that. There's a number associated with it. So what we have to do is create a, a button for each one of those and, and let's go into uh, settings and then fields. And you'll see down below here, there's one, two, three, four, five, six different buttons. And let's pick one of these, like save two. So here's a button. Every time uh, you uh, save the record, what this does is, is it allows the record to be saved and updated and allows you to continue and edit other pieces of the form. So it's edit record with a record it includes the record ID and the DFID equals 21. Uh, and then it says return back to where you came from, which is on the new destination. So we're two going to 21, three would go to like 22, four would go to 24, that kind of thing. It's always moving you to a, uh, a, a different uh, form to fill the information out. Net net, the result is that you're forcing certain forms to be filled out in a sequence that you want to do. Um, and it gives you the flexibility of having separate form rules for every single form that you're doing. Uh, and it allows uh, administrators to come back into the responses uh, take a, and take a look at them and they can toggle through the responses by tab.